one of the reasons we, we, we got it really was um, uh, we'd had the, the old folk boat for, uh, for over 20 years and, um, uh, and it was time to change. And we wanted a, a boat which was going to be a pro possibly a, a bit more of a leisurely sail than the, uh, than the folk boat. We already knew David, of course, for, for we've known him for many years, and, uh, and we knew the Fisher range and we knew the Freewoods. We didn't want the, uh, the Fisher style because they have smaller cockpits, and um, uh, although they've got the wheelhouse, which is very good in bad weather, we're not bad weather sailors really, so we like the cockpit. Uh, so um, we, yeah, we thought, why don't we have a go for a Freewood 25, uh, which is what we've done. It's, in many ways, it's just absolutely marvellous. It's, it, it's got almost everything that the folk boat didn't have. It's got standing headroom, it's got running water, and uh, sea toilet, even an oven, although it is actually disconnected at the moment <laughs> because of a slight gas leak. It's, it's my breakfast cereal cupboard. <laughs> but, yes. um, and it's got a, a lovely big engine, inboard engine. You know, if the wind drops or... Uh, or you get fed up with pulling ropes, then uh, engine on and off you go. Now, it's also got um, ball walks. It's very easy to walk around uh, the deck in safety. And uh, all in all, it's, um, it's been a, a good buy. We've only had it for a, a year. We, we bought it at the beginning of, uh, or fairly early last year. And uh, it needed a bit of tidying up, and, and it still does. But you can't do everything at once, you know. If you do everything today, well, then you've got nothing to do tomorrow. <laughs> so, uh, so bit by bit, we're... Um, we're doing a bit of uh, a bit of tidying up. It's nothing major, mostly cosmetic. We've got a, a, a few things in mind to do for next year. Uh, I need to replace the treadmaster on the decks, which is um, uh, has gone a bit perished. Because it is a 1973 boat, after all, so uh, so it's 40 years old. Uh, so you expect um, a little bit of uh, wear and tear during that time. I mean, it's the height of luxury compared with your folk boat. Absolutely, yes, yes. absolutely. The bunks yes. are comfortable. I can jump up and down. And and with a, with, the, the, with the high bow. I mean, when when you're sailing, it would have to be seriously bad weather before uh, waves break over the uh, over the top of the cabin. We have no intention of uh, of being out in such weather. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> and, and was this the type of boat you were looking for, or did it just happen to come along? No, we were looking for one. We 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 pretty much decided that uh, it was one of these or similar that we wanted. Uh, so we we started looking and. Uh, we found, spotted this one on the, the, on, the, on, the on the association's website. There was an advert for uh, for this one, so we thought, oh well, that's uh, jolly good. So we inquired as to where it was. It was at Pin Mill in Suffolk. This was uh, not last year, but the, towards the end of the year before. So we thought, oh, well, we'll uh, we'll go. So we took the camper van up to Suffolk, and we had uh, two or three days up there, and we went to have a look at this boat and uh, and liked it. But we were shortly going to Spain for three months, so it didn't seem sensible to go and buying um, a boat then. So uh, so we left it on and th said, well, if it's still there when we come back, then um, then we we could well pursue it unless we change their minds. Once we'd sorted ourselves out and uh, and uh, uh, settled down a bit, inquired, and um, sure enough, she was still for sale. So uh, uh, so we went over for another look. And and then eventually we uh, we did the deal, came to an arrangement with the owner and uh, and did the deal. And we we were in two minds as to whether to sail her back from um, from Suffolk. Uh, but she hadn't been in the water for two or three years, and um, uh, so and there was a you know a few things that did need doing. So uh, we thought, well, be on the safe side. We'll have her transported, and uh, and then in the yard for a month or two and. Uh, uh, and uh, so we can, uh, you know, we can uh, get a few things sorted out, which is what we did. And so we uh, we put her in the water uh, around about the middle of last year. The first trip really was uh, uh, the few days that we spent over at Yarmouth at Folk Boat Week. Um, <laughs> Although we didn't still, we we, had, we don't still have a folk boat. We've been going to folk boat week at Yarmouth for the last uh, whatever 30 years. So uh, we thought, well, we'll go in uh, go in the Freewood. 
So are, are you going to use a, more as a, a motor cruiser than a, a, a sailing yacht? Yes, I mean we, we, we like to sail and... Um, and what you call an ideal gentle day, which is sparkly sea. Yes. Not much wind, <laughs> <laughs> but just enough to sail. <laughs> yes, I mean we do enjoy sailing. There's nothing quite so nice really when you, uh, you know, get the sails set and they're drawing nicely. Uh, and turn the engine off, you know, and uh, you're sailing along a nice, uh, uh, nice and peaceful. And she does sail very well. Well, all right, she doesn't sail quite like the folk boat. She won't quite as high, but she does sail very well. But uh, she does tend to need a little bit of a breeze to uh, to get going. But also, she motors well, so uh, you've got the best of both worlds, really. And so you've got two two bunks up. up uh, yes, two bunks. Um, it, it it would be a bit cosy for two adults, but um, <laughs> uh, but for one adult. Yes, that's my, it, that's my Jenny, room. Yeah, Jenny sleeps uh, sleeps in there, and and I sleep on uh, on this. And we've, it's got a quarter berth, which um, we've actually got the rubber dinghy under there at the moment, um, uh, so we don't, uh, we don't use that. I did try um, it, but I wasn't happy being yeah. underneath.